Uh, I don't have a mic, so I have to kind of do my best to uh, to speak out loud. But for those of you who don't know me, I'm Pastor Key, and I'm from Faith, and I I'm the family pastor at, at Faith. And it's kind of weird to be up here right now because throughout this whole week, I felt like I've been in the background, uh, trying to to watch over all of you as much as I could, asking God to guide all of us as pastors and, and support staff to watch over you, but. I realize that uh, as I'm standing here, it's always kind of tough to follow Leslie, you know. <clears throat> she does such a good job of, of, of letting you all know how important you are. Uh, this week, it's been, uh, I've, I've been trying to, to, to think about a word that describes this week. Because uh, I think it's been very unique where I would have to say anyone here, including those of even Reverend Derek who's been doing this for 22 years. And I'm sure he doesn't want me to bring that up again. Uh, but also for any of you who's been the first, uh, for those who have been the first time this year too, this has been, I would say, if anything, a journey. Can I get an amen? Amen. Yeah. It, is, it has been a journey, you know. And, uh, and for those of you who know, that that, that feels good to me because, you know, um, some of oh, my youth, my youth know that I, I, I sometimes go by Jamal. What? Jamal. <laughs> but. That's, just, that's, that's, a, that's a whole different story. We'll, go, we'll talk about that another time. But, but I have to say it's been a journey. And I, and I think about this week, and it reminds me of the journey that the disciples also took with Jesus. And it was a journey filled with laughter. It was a journey filled with miracles. It was a journey filled with amazing relationship. And I realized, where's Andrew Tani? I'm bringing him up because he brought me up too when he was sharing. Because what we say about Christianity is not a religion, it's a relationship. And I think it's so important to understand that. Because if it wasn't a relationship, God would not have sent the Son to us. Can I get an amen? amen? And you know, starting from the first day and the second day, you know, we had, uh, we had the, the program done by the programming team and it was just so emotional. And it was such a roller coaster ride for all of us. And to be honest, I hope we don't have to cry again, but I know that's, that's, that's impossible. Because it is the last night. And I know for some of us who have been, who've been doing this for a long time, every year you wait pretty much 364 days of the year for this night. Now if you agree with that, can I get in there? So I do want to say that as we come together tonight, it's a night to really remember the whole week. Some of us had a really difficult time. Some of us had a really fun time. Some of us had a very memorable time. But no matter what, what I realized is that we were all doing it together. And from this point, like when I see you from this angle, it's a kind of a beautiful picture. So if I could ask all of you to kind of link arms. Because when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, the reason why Jesus came is to share with us that in this life, we need to do it together. Any Christian out there who's doing it alone is a struggling Christian. I promise you that. And I think this camp, Asian camp, if anything, will teach us and remind us that no matter where we go, these linked arms that you're next to you will always take them with you. Because if anything I remember from this morning's message from Reverend Derek, he did say this. He says, you are all Jesus to one another. And as Leslie said too, we are all created in the image of God, which means that God is in every single one of us. And that's such a beautiful thing. And so when we come together today to do communion, it's a very special communion because it's Asian camp, right? It's a very special communion because this night, you really get to experience what it means to come together and to realize that God wants us to remember when Jesus had this Last Supper, He told His disciples to remember all the experiences you had with me together. And when we do this this week, tonight, you're going to remember everything or as much as you can as all the things that made you go yay, that made you go cry, that made you hug each other. You're going to remember all those things, the faces and the experiences and the laughter. But when Jesus talked to his disciples, he wanted to do this Last Supper thing, but not because he was gonna die the next day and go away, 
but really this communion is really about him giving his love to you all and realizing that this bread is life because Jesus is about giving life and I realize that when I come here to Asian Cap and I see all of you together that's what you do for each other when Reverend Derek says you are Jesus to one another what's so great about camp is because you guys give life to each other because that's what Christ is all about can I get an amen so this evening when we come together and to take communion together, remember, remember that Jesus is about giving you life so that you give life to each other. Through support, when people needed for someone to hug, you guys did it. When someone needed someone to a shoulder to cry on, you did it. And this is one of the most unique Asian camps I think we've had in a very long time, if ever. And so I have to say, you guys can all remember this and realize that you were a part of a very special year this year. So as I, before I turn over to Reverend Derek and Reverend Janet to, to go ahead and, and do this communion, um, I just want you to remember each other and how God really moved all of you to support each other because you really needed it. We needed it. And I'm glad that God was present through all the ways in which you love each other because this is what it's all about. God's love being given to you so that you know how to give it to one another. Amen? So with that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have the design team come and we'll serve from you to the design team first. But I'm going to hand it over to Reverend Derek, but before I do, I want to give some suggestions, uh, directions I should say. We're going to have the design team and we'll serve you. And the design team will serve then the counselors, and then the counselors then will serve their growth groups. Okay? But we only have one loaf of bread, and for those of you who know how to, you know, when we do communion at faith with Reverend Ken, he always says, what? Take a large enough piece, but tonight we're going to have to make this bread work, okay? <laughs> so don't take such a large piece. Make sure that everyone get a piece of God's love, all right? So that we can remember this night for that very reason. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to Reverend Derek. Many of you have in your local churches celebrated communion before, uh, and as you see on the table, a loaf of bread and a cup of juice. Uh, we know that they come from a local store, from farms. We realize that they are very common things that we see every single day uh, in our homes and uh, in our schools. And wherever we go, we see bread and juice all over. And yet, when you put it on the table uh, at your local church, when you pray over it, God's Holy Spirit fills it, and they become for us the body and blood of Christ. And they remind us, as Pastor Key said, that they are symbols of life presence of Christ that is with you always. Why we celebrate it in just this way also is because the one loaf represents this one community. And as each one of you take a piece, you will remember that you were a part of the community, the family of Asian American Summer Camp 2012. Uh, and so when you share communion together with your small group, think about it in those terms. Remember that the piece that you're taking is coming from one whole loaf. And that loaf is being shared by every single person in this camp who's been a part of this family for this last week. Uh, and when we do, feel the presence of Christ filling you and the love that you've shared with one another surrounding you and blessing you. And know that that has been the true measure of the power of the Spirit that has been working this last week. It is the Spirit that fills this bread and juice and make them be for us the body and blood of Christ. And it is that Spirit that has drawn us together in this place that has filled us allowed us to share this experience. And as we go forth from this place, what we'll know is that the memories that we have created this week will go along with us. The friendships will last a lifetime. And we will know that because of that spirit and this special moment, the memories of Asian Camp 2012 will be powerful for us, will shape us for the rest of our lives. When Jesus was standing with his disciples on the night before he was to give himself up for all of us, he looked for a way to help them to know that he would be with them forever. And so he took a loaf of bread that was sitting on the table and he gave it new meaning. He said to them, uh, this body, this uh, bread that I give to you, this is a symbol, but it is also the reality of my body, which will be given for you. I make this sacrifice that, so that you will know my love. And so the body that is here before you is, uh, this bread is the body of Christ for you. And he took the bread and he gave it to them and he said, uh, take and eat, this is my body which will be broken for you. Every time you do it, remember me. In that spirit of remembrance, every time we share in 
uh, this sense of communion, we will remember again the memories of Asian American Summer Camp 2012 and all that we have shared. And then on uh, that, same, just, uh, that same night after they had bread, he took a cup of juice and he gave thanks to God and he gave it to his disciples and he said, drink from this cup, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. When we take communion together, we share in the common cup because it reminds us that we are all a part of being able to drink of that one cup as the family uh, of Asian American Summer Camp 2012. Drink this and remember me, Jesus said. God, pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we would be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to the whole world until Christ comes again in final victory, and we feast upon Christ's heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and your Holy Church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, now and forevermore. Amen. And now, with the confidence of children, let us join together in the prayer that our friend and brother, our Lord and Savior Jesus, prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Because there is one loaf, we are reminded that we are one body, broken yet shared among all people. This is the body of Christ, given for you and for everyone. Do this in remembrance of Him. In the cup that we share together and give thanks for, this is the body and blood of Christ for all of us. And so we're going to ask the design team to come up first, and then we're going to call each one of you up by small groups. And so as you're coming up, we're actually going to move you back here so that you can gather together around in a circle and then have communion served to you by your counselors. Um, and then after you uh, conclude the communion, uh, please return the elements back to the design team. And then we're gonna invite you as a small group to go ahead and go onto the perimeter and share some final words together as we close this evening. Uh, and at some point in that, as we finish the communion, we'll draw you back or if you're done, then just come back down and sit and we'll share together a song and a closing prayer. So let us then uh, share this meal. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. We come to this table recognizing that it is not because we are worthy that we come to this table. We come because of God's grace, because of God's great love for all of us, just as we are. We can come to this table and know that the meal has been prepared for all of us. So I want to invite the design team to come down first, and then we may share with you.
group group one to go ahead and head up to the back and then so go ahead and go first. The one and two. Yeah, you guys go ahead. Sorry. And then as they're going up, as they pass through the fight group three and four, he's down and down here five.
Eight and nine. 